Good morning. How's the Bitcoin mining operation coming? Smashing, actually. I'm processing at 7 giga hashes per second, which means I'm producing 5 bitcoins per day at the current difficulty. Wow. That's pretty good. So what are you going to do with all of those bitcoins? Well, I will probably keep most of them because I believe when bitcoins gain a wider audience, they will be worth thousands of dollars apiece. Really? That's insane. Aren't you worried that the prices will collapse? There are a lot of people saying that bitcoins are a Ponzi scheme. Ponzi scheme. Ha ha ha. Ho 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 ho. Tee hee hee. That's the funniest thing I've heard all week. Do you know what a Ponzi scheme is? Well, no, not really. What is a Ponzi scheme? A Ponzi scheme is an investment scam which fraudulently promises abnormal returns, but actually uses new money to pay off older investors, and must grow exponentially or it collapses. Okay, so how do Bitcoins fit that definition? Why don't we take a look at the elements of the definition? First off, a Ponzi scheme is an investment scam. So what is an investment? An investment is a vehicle for generating returns on money. It could be the purchase of a stock or a bond. Or it could be the purchase of ownership in a partnership or a business. All right. That's fair. So by that definition, are bitcoins an investment? No. Not really, because bitcoins are simply a peer-to-peer -peer currency, and like gold. They don't generate an investment return. But people invest in gold, don't they? Yes, but people buy gold to preserve their wealth from the ravages of inflation. Gold may go up in price due to inflation, but by the strictest definition, it is not an investment because it doesn't generate a steady return. Okay. So what you are saying is that bitcoins are like gold in that they don't produce a return. So bitcoins are not an investment in the traditional sense. So what about the next element? Do bitcoins make a promise of fraudulent returns? Actually no. They don't make any promise of return, and they are not even an investment. So no, bitcoins do not promise fraudulent returns. Excellent. What about abnormal returns? Do bitcoins promise abnormal returns? Again. As I said before, bitcoins don't make any promise of return, so no. There are no abnormal returns either. Good. Ponzi schemes also use new money to pay off older investors. Do bitcoins do that? No. Because there are no returns. So newer buyers of bitcoins might pay more for them than people did in the past, but that's not at all like taking the funds of newer investors to pay off older investors. Okay. So what about the fact that a Ponzi scheme must grow exponentially or it collapses? Don't bitcoins need to grow exponentially in use or they will collapse? No. Not at all. Bitcoin adoption could stop growing right now and they would be fine. But because the number of coins is strictly limited, more adoption will force the price higher as more people desire to use them. So what you are telling me is that bitcoins meet none of the elements of the definition of a Ponzi scheme? Correct. Because bitcoins aren't an investment? Correct. And bitcoins don't fraudulently promise abnormal returns. Correct. And bitcoins don't use new monies to pay off older investors. Correct. And bitcoins don't need to grow exponentially or they will collapse. Correct. So bitcoins are in no way a Ponzi scheme by any element of the definition of the word. Correct. So why are all these people saying bitcoins are a Ponzi scheme? Because they are trolls, shields, bashers. Stupid, liars, or worse. What could be worse than that? A Wall Street bankster? True that. Laws.